In about 12 hours now, polling places will open their doors to voters looking to cast their ballots. And candidates have not given up on winning you over, including Virginia's Senate candidates who crisscrossed the Commonwealth today. NBC 29's Alana Austin has our Decision 2014 details live in our state capitol newsroom. Good evening, Alana. Good evening, Steve and Casey. And in recent weeks, Virginia's Senate race has tightened. Even though de the Democratic incumbent Senator Mark Warner maintains a lead over his opponent, the challenger has not given up the fight. No, it's not victory night just yet. This is the time for candidates to mobilize allies and lobby for them to get out the vote. I feel very good about the energy. I think we've really picked up the last few days. From south side to the coast to central Virginia and out west, Senator Mark Warner is telling those who voted for him six years ago why they should send him back to Washington. Virginians at the end of the day know me and they know my record. Warner brags a bipartisan log, a business background, and years-long history of serving Virginians as the former governor and statesman. We got a choice this election. We can send one more hardcore partisan or we can send somebody back who's a bipartisan problem solver. Bring on the politics. Republican challenger Ed Gillespie, a former GOP strategist and lobbyist, has been making the rounds too. He says he stands for a fresh start. In the midst of midterm elections, Republicans hope associations to the Democratic Party and President Barack Obama will work in Gillespie's favor. They realize that we need a change, and the only way we're going to change what's going on in Washington is to change our senator. Gillespie has also highlighted a lethargic economic recovery and flaws in the Affordable Care Act. We can't afford six more years of the last six years. In the polls, Gillespie narrowed the deficit from 29 points at the beginning to a single-digit deficit in recent weeks. Yet unseating the incumbent will be an uphill battle requiring an army. There's a big choice here and do it. We could go in a new and better direction, uh, but that starts with all of us here in the Commonwealth making sure that we exercise our sacred right to vote. And Gillespie has faced another challenge in taking on the Democratic incumbent fundraising. As of October 15th, the Virginia Public Access Project shows that Warner's campaign has raised more than $12 million. That's almost double what Gillespie's campaign has raised. Alana Austin live in our state capitol newsroom tonight.